Power Rangers Hyperforce is back. It's actually back, guys. It's it's in a comic. It's amazing. Uh, this this is like I have to record a video about about this. Uh, one of the last things I posted was that Hyperforce is back, and we are getting this beautiful one shot. Uh, I really don't want to spoil it for you guys. But I just have to give you my thoughts on it. It's uh, Thursday night right now as I'm recording this. So just came out yesterday. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get an advanced copy of it. And, and I tried to tell everybody I knew, you got to read this. You got to read this. Uh, even I guess I will tell you one spoiler. Even though there's only five on there, you do see all six of them. Uh, Joe isn't left off. Don't worry. Uh, Joe is there. Um, where do I start? Let's talk about uh, in the first few pages, which are there uh we did get to see a little bit of stuff in the preview including the battleizer something we really didn't get to see at all you know chloe obviously had it uh for the most part of the show at least half of the show and uh, yeah because the pink ranger had it and it was really cool to get to see her uh come out of it you have jack who is still jack you know jack d thomas he he had the the knowledge, the rigidity, but oh my gosh, he was the counter to Chloe. Uh, through thick and thin, when it came to Hyperforce, and this is just like it. Hearing him say things like, sorry kiddo, or like calling, you know, Ashford. It's like, oh god, like, the language is right there. And that is because it was wrote by Melissa Flores and Megan Camarena, who... I mean, they, they helped write Hyperforce. Now, it, obviously, it was an RPG. The, there was some fluidity, but there was at least a basic, you know, script or whatever that they kind of had to follow in order for the story to prog progress and end, you know, at a certain time because they only had X amount of episodes. So, the people who were, you know, in charge of the writing that, Melissa Flores and Megan, who was the Pink Ranger and who was in it, there's no reason that, like, every character just it's them right it just it sounds like them it is them they their their looks are the same but it's the tone of everything that really is like this is hyperforce like this is hyperforce that i missed i love these characters and i missed them so so very much uh vesper has an amazing line about her robot arm chloe calls out uh, Mar for not having a battleizer. There's a throwback to the Christmas episode. <sighs> I'm not gonna spoil that, but it's really, really good. And it just... Like, how do you capture Vesper? Like, she was so chaotic. She was so random. Like, you never knew what she was gonna do. Completely capsulates her amazingly. Um, everything's spot on. And, you know, Chloe definitely gets that, like, breakdown of... And when last we left our heroes, they lost! Spoiler if you haven't seen the show, but you should have by now. Chloe's dad is the big bad! She thought he was dead. Hmm! <laughs> um, she thought he was dead, and, uh, apparently he's alive, and he's the leader of the Alliance, and, uh... Not, yeah, not gonna mention her mom. Um, who, you know, it, I, I will say, if you were wondering if you should pick up this book or not, but you are reading the main series, and you're like, hey, I don't know if I need to read this because Hyperforce ne isn't necessarily my thing. It's wrote by the author of the main series. There are tie-ins. Like, there are ramifications for this. The Hyperforce Rangers know what the stakes are right now in the morphing grid and they are well, well they're gonna try to stop them eddie man eddie was just uh the same kind of lovable goofball and you know then you have joe who is the green ranger he uh, he didn't really get a lot in this one and obviously not, and, and marv didn't quite either marv did have some good ones it's just like you know you you were the leader you need to make this call at one point uh, uh so there was that that was really good but the fact of you know a lot of the hyperforce story it was all of their story but kind of by the end it was a lot of chloe's story and to be able to finish that off it's not 
like the minute it's over it does you know it's a few like months or whatever in the road but i will spoil one thing for you i'm sorry it's a page it's a page i'm gonna spoil this for you you gotta pick it up for this this whole team morph and i'm trying to not show you the other page Oh my god, it's so good, y'all. It was worth getting it on digital. Be or I have it on digital. It's been my background of my computer for like the last month. It's such a hardcore shot. And I don't mean to be like bragging about that because it was really cool. I never get, um, I don't ever really get stuff early. So it was really cool that I did because of, I, I am still a huge, huge Hyperforce fan. So I just want you guys to remember that it, it's them it's 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 them it's the rangers it's not you never once in this comic go huh no i don't think you know jack would say something like that and apparently my video cut off after that last one so uh let me remember everything i i said previously um but yeah they just they're all them you know, and, and this comic just, it hits so hard for all of us who've been waiting five years for a bit of uh, closure, you know, more or less. Dang, that's been, that's been so, so good. Uh, also, I needed this. I got my local comic book store, so I, I got the, the foil, right? Like, I was just going to get the, the regulars. And then, you know gotta love local comic book store They're like hey you know we got one of the foil ones left if you want to pick up one of those yes i did and uh after i picked up this one right here uh and the foil there was only one left and it was another foil and here's the thing i actually wanted to buy more of these i wanted to get more because i wanted to have one for the hyperforce day i would have one for the hyperforce day right um for power month and and they didn't have any because I got the foil. Remember I said I only have two? I also had a giveaway. This isn't even mine. Jen, if you're watching, this is your comic. I'm sorry. I had to use one that didn't have the glare. Well, as bad of a glare. Uh, I, I hope maybe they'll do a second printing or I'm just going to have to go searching. Uh, but I'd really like to get another one because one of these days I'm going to get to meet both of these amazing ladies. Well, okay. I've gotten to meet both of them at PMC in 2018, okay? Like, neither of them had wrote a comic before at this point. I need to be, meet both of these amazing ladies and have them sign this. Um, but I guess I better get another normal front copy, right? Oh, man. Uh, just please go pick this up. It's such a great book. If you can't pick it up, if you can't, uh, I'll try to remember to throw a link below to, like, Comixology or some places that you can buy it digitally. Uh, if you can't end up finding it in, uh, in print anywhere, which might unfortunately be a problem. Uh, but it's a good problem, right? Because it means it's doing amazing. And, you know, boom. I don't want to say, like, took a leap of faith on whether or not, you know, this was something people would want. But... You know, with the creative team of Melissa and Megan, especially with Melissa working on Boom, working on the main series book, you know, there's there's tie-ins and stuff. You know, there's there's a reason for people who are reading the main series. Even if you don't know who the Hyperforce Rangers are, there's a reason you should read this. There's a lot of amazing stuff in there. And, uh, and it's a team that it sounds like you're going to get to see a lot more of once the actual... Uh, that Man, I had... I remembered all of this in my first take. But what's a return to YouTube without missing, messing up your shot and then, like, forgetting everything? Ah! Mistress Vile! Uh, all that stuff that's happening right now, it, it it does, in fact, go with some of this. And, uh, and I, you, you really gotta pick it up. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. My rangers are my rangers. My my heart felt happy like reading this it felt like watching a brand new episode of a show that you absolutely loved that you haven't seen a new episode of in like five years it was these characters that i loved so much the art 
the the reading, the style, the lin linguistics, just it was high performance. So thank you, Megan. Thank you, uh, Melissa. Boom. I guess Hasbro because I don't know how many arms they had to twist for them to be able to let us do this because they're like they're probably like what's a hyperforce? Uh, but yeah, man, it was an amazing read. So cool. I am uh, uh, I'm back. I guess right with this. This is the official video that I am back now. Be on the lookout. Is tomorrow or tomorrow when I'm recording this, I'm getting the Cosmic Fury Morpher, and you know I'm gonna review it because what's a? I mean, if some people do sound, wah, 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 I do how well it fits on your wrist and how well it stays on while you're acting like an idiot in your room, because that's the reality of the world we live in. We do so. Be on the lookout. I'll see you uh, uh, August Power Month. Woo! I'm back, baby. All right. No one told you that. I love you. I think you're awesome, and I will see you at the next video because there's gonna be one. Ah! Toodles.